Pokemon Legends EA just released the worst Megas ever. Here's why. Are you ready? Good! Let's get to pockets! Here are five Megas that will make this game look like your dirty freaking toes. Number one, Mega Dragonite. Dragonite is the only pseudo-legendary that hasn't gotten any regional or Mega evolution so far. It's loved so much that even the Elite Four member Lance has two of them on his team. Two of them. Nobody needs two of them. Low-key, he was really cheating. That non-skill bum ass. Overall, this mega design for Dragonite looks like two kids just try to dress up for the martial arts tournament. Now, for real, I know we got Nacho Libre, and it was cool when Jack Black did it, but now we got Jalapeno Libre? <clears throat> so that's my punchline. You know you're gonna be fine. As much as I clown on this Pokemon, its typing is busted. Dragon Steel? is the real deal with only two weaknesses being fighting and ground although the stats are great i didn't expect pokemon to bring the luchador out of dragonite <laughs> number two mega flygon flygon gets disrespected in the dragon community y'all want this to be a pseudo legendary but every year he gets cut from the team with flygon's amazing typing this is its year to be the face of pokemon legends ea so what the heck is this Sure, bug and ground is not horrible, at least when it comes to these being your only weaknesses, but the stats are not in your favor, at least not defensively. So your precious dragon type just got stripped of its dragon card. Hey, Raihan, you want to take a selfie with this? My man Flygon really pulled out the fur coat and the tiny wings, and he thought that thing was nice. Real quick, did you know that I'm the best black PokeTuber in existence? Don't take my word for it. So subscribe to the best black PokeTuber on the internet, and you'll receive your very own Kool-Aid pack. Yeah, that's right. It's great. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it right. Subscribe today. Number three, Mega Milotic. Milotic was never supposed to be a Pokemon in the first place. Let's be real. You saw this abomination. And no matter how proud it was, it still needed another form. Which Pokemon gave us this majestic form in Milotic. In terms of Megas, she just gets a pretty necklace and some wings, which makes sense because this is now a water and fairy type. To me, this just makes it worse though. Why would you go from two weaknesses to three? But in terms of stats, there's a reason why Cynthia has this Pokemon and not Nessa. Seriously, what was the point of having that backstory for Nessa if this Pokemon was not going to be her ace? Racism much? Don't pull out the nine. Number four, Mega Luxray. Luxray has always been a solid Pokemon and very known in the Gen 4 community. The Diamond and Pearl days, you couldn't tell me you didn't have this Pokemon on your team. But I got beef with this Pokemon. Oh, but Richie, you always have beef. Yeah, that's right. Maybe I do. Do I have issues? <laughs> this is probably the best Mega that I've seen but an 89 in defense won't save you from your weakness. Luxray is that guy that pulls up to the family cookout full of ground types, and he try to play it off cool, but like they gonna beat the Hakuna Matata out of him. No Mega in the world is gonna save you from that ass whooping. Just ask Scar. The last Pokemon is probably the worst Mega I've ever seen, and that is Mega Weavile. Oh, but Richie, it's Weavile. He's a cool Pokemon. How bad can it be? Bob, Bob. They did this mega so dirty. Not only did my man skip leg day, but he really built like Marvin the Martian. 99 cent Deadpool having that. This Pokemon suffers in damn near every stat, besides attack, which you can obviously tell by those Pillsbury Doughboy of hands that he has. But what good is this Pokemon if you can't hit anything? Without speed, a fighting type's just gonna obliterate you with close combat. Easiest kill of my life. I want to feel bad for this Pokemon, but I don't even know if that's actually Weavile in that mask. I refuse to believe that they disrespected this Pokemon like that. These Mega Evolutions will make the game horrible, but let me know your thoughts on what you think of these Pokemon if they were on your team. As always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to crush that subscribe button, sand burial that shit, and you already know, join the Hidden Sand Village. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video, and as my lord and savior says, y'all stay up like a layup and I'll see y'all in the next video. That's all, folks.